Hello everyone, welcome to our today's tutorial on how to fetch data from an API and display it in Angular 17. This tutorial is designed for both beginners and intermediate learners who are keen to enhance their Angular skills. Today we will focus on fetching data from a live API and displaying it using Angular 17's latest features. Whether you are building a weather app, a social media dashboard or any other data driven application this tutorial will give you a solid foundation to work from so let's get started first of all ensure that you have the latest version of node.js and angular cli installed and then open your terminal and run this command ng new and your project name once the this project is created you can simply go to that project and open it in the editor i already have created my project and it is open in my vs code editor so it is also currently running in the browser so we can continue from here angular components are building blocks of application so let's create a new component name data display so open a new terminal in the root directory of your project and type this command to create a new component okay now as we are using standalone component so i will simply import that component in my app component so that i could use it in my app component so here i will use it now in this way okay you can see that this data is coming from the data display component now let's fetch data from an api we will use the http client module so if you are using the modules instead of standalone you may need to add the http client module in your app module right now i'm using standalones now we need to inject the http client in the data display dot component for that i will use the inject function from the latest version of angular here i will use service uh, http client is equal to is equal to inject make sure to import the inject function from angular core and give it the service that you want to inject i want to inject http client next let's make the api call for this example we will fetch data from the public api like json placeholder for sample posts we will use uh, ng on init lifecycle hook to call our fetch data method so for that let's add implements on init now we need to implement that function make sure to import on init as well okay now first of all we need to define the function that we want to call so the function name is fetch data and this will use http client dot get and this is the url of the api that will get the list of posts and then we will subscribe to it and then we will console the data and also i will add a property here data and we will assign that data that came from the api to this dot data okay now let's reload it and see if data is being displayed in the console so right now we are getting the error no provider for http client so we can simply import the http client module in this standalone component like this and this way error will be gone now let's call the function fetch data in the ng unit and let's reload it and you can see we are getting the list of posts that are coming from the placeholder api finally let's display the data in the html in the data display dot component dot html use the for loop to display the each post let's do that here i will use the ul tag and here i will use the latest syntax of for loop in angular 17 and here i will add let post of posts uh, of data and here i will use track post.id and i think we don't need the let keyword here now we can simply add h3 tag here to display the post title here i will display the post content all right you can see that all of the articles are being displayed that are coming from the api all right that's it that's how you fetch and display data using angular 17 i hope that this tutorial was helpful in understanding the basics of working with apis in angular remember practice is key to mastering these concepts feel free to experiment with different apis and data structures if you have any questions or feedback please leave them in the comment section below 
and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials like this happy coding and see you in the next one